Today was a green day. I took all last week off, which is the longest I've taken off in a long time. Just felt like I wasn't trading well. I was a little too distracted by other things in life, so I was happy to have a green day today. Um, my watch list was CCL, Dow, Workhorse, and Cisco. Uh, my first trade was actually on Cisco here. And yeah, there it is. So we can see what I was looking at here. Kind of squirreled around a little bit at open, but it, it came out with really strong bearish volume here in the first one minute candlestick. And then it did bounce back or pull back, but on much lower volume. So it looked pretty weak. It came down, started curling down. I was waiting my five minutes. I really wanted to get in around this 39.14 mark, but you know, I was waiting the full five minutes. Right after that, um, pretty close to the beginning of the six minute mark or the second five minute candlestick, I went ahead and got short here, I think at 39.07. And I started partialing out. This red line is low of the day on the one minute chart here. So this wasn't a level that I was shooting for. It was just, I started scaling out as we went down. My next level for this and the level two actually seemed to be pointing to getting to, um, I think it was 38. Uh, 64 was really what I was hoping. So I was holding on, I only had two partials here and I was holding on to a lot of my position still hoping that it was going to get down to this 3864 level that I saw on level two. It didn't happen and I got stopped out at break even for the rest of my shares. So I like the entry. I like these two partials. My mistake on this is I got to get at least three profitable partials on a green trade before I let it get back to break even. Um, so really, as I started to see this pattern fail, like probably after this hammer here, I should have taken at least one more partial right here, put a little bit more change in my pocket. And this is like a, you know, an important level there. And then, um, and then allowed the rest to go back, break back to break even. But, um, other than that, good trade there. Um, my next trade was a bad one here on CCL. So let me see here. So this is CCL on the five minute chart. Here's the one minute. Um, just really a terrible trade. What I saw here was this is the 200 MA on the one minute chart. So I was really trying to get an entry close to the 200 MA. And then I was going to say, well, if it breaks over this, uh, all these support lines, then my stop out would have been right here. But I chased the entry and I just didn't have uh, enough wiggle room to have a technical stop loss. So a bad entry led to a bad stop out. Now it turned against me, so it would have been a bad trade either way. But this was especially bad because this is a, a bad entry. My entry needs to be closer to this 50 MA and this 200 MA. And uh, it caused me to not use a technical stop out. Um, Cisco was my best trade of the day. And... Um, man, I was tempted to get back in right here, but, um, you know, so Cisco is a good trade as you can see, or not Cisco. Here we go. Dow. Here we go. Delta. So Delta week again, you can see kind of what I saw on the five minute chart. It's even more obvious that uh, right here is a nice, uh, turning point. I wanted to get an entry closer to this 1321 level. I pulled off the daily, but it just didn't look like it was going to get back. So the reason I was willing to enter this trade is because on the one minute chart, you see a nice, very tight descending triangle right here. Now it's very, it's a very tight triangle. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have my mouse, but, um, but I felt good about it. And if it broke this candlestick high right here, which is only a few cents away, I was going to get out because I was getting an easy by the volume coming in, thinking that there might be a short squeeze. But uh, it fought through and that was good. I took, uh, see here, I got three partials and I, uh, this 29.81, if this level would move, it, you'd see that it was a yellow marker, which means I pulled it from the daily. So I got three partials, including down to this daily, but I was hoping that we could break through and level two, there was a nice, some nice levels around the 2950. There's a lot of action. And as, as well as the fact that uh, the 50 MA on the one minute, I mean, on the daily chart was around the $29 mark. So I thought if things really went negative today, this thing could go to 2950 or the $29 mark. So I was holding on, but got stopped out here at break even right there. But what's important, the reason this is my best trade of the day is it's very similar in the profit of each partial to my Cisco trade. The difference is I got three partials in. Um, before I let it get back to break even. So that was my day and hopefully the start uh, to a nice week here.